Brianna. So today I wanted to do a really glam kind of look. Lately I've been really into cut crease looks, so I wanted to do that. And also, since Valentine's Day is coming up, I wanted to make another Valentine's Day look that you guys can wear. But like, I feel like this look is a great look not only for Valentine's Day, I think that it's a great look for any time. Uh, yeah. It's really easy to do. I think this look is so wearable for any kind of occasion that you really want to like feel confident and you want to be the star of the show. Okay. I really love this look and I hope you guys do too. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. So now that I've bored you guys enough, let's just get into the video. So I already went ahead and primed my lids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Now I'm going to use the shade Tempera and apply this all over my eyelid with a blending brush. Now I'm going to take the shade Burnt Orange and apply a generous amount all over my crease. Next, I'm going to be taking the shade Raw Sienna and I'm going to apply this with the same blending brush over Burnt Orange. For most of this look, I'm going to be using the dual-ended brush that comes with the palette. I tend to stay away from brushes that come in palettes just because they're usually not that great. But the brush that comes in this palette is so amazing and so high quality. I just love it. After that, I'm going to be using the shade Real Girl, and I'm going to apply that with the other end of the Anastasia brush, starting from the outer corner of my eye, and I'm going to work my way into the inner corner. As I keep applying the shade Real Girl, I want to make sure that everything is blended in well, so to do that, I kept using the blending brush after I applied more eyeshadow. Real Girl is going to be the main transition shade, so you really want to make it as pigmented as possible to make sure that when you apply the next shade, it gives a smoother look. Next, I'm going to pick up the shade Red Ochre with my MAC 239 eyeshader brush. To really achieve this cut crease kind of look, I'm applying all of the eyeshadows I'm using in an oval kind of shape. And I didn't use the Anastasia brush that came with this palette for this part just because I didn't want to apply too much of red ochre to make it really pigmented, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Once I'm done blending in all of that, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and this is the part where you're going to carve out your cut crease look and really make it come to life. I'm going to use a small concealer brush to spread the concealer out on my eyelid. This is also going to make sure that the concealer doesn't get really messy and in the end it's going to look really clean. So now for the fun part, I'm going to be using the Stilla Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Retro Rose Gold and I'm going to apply this on top of the concealer. To make sure the eyeshadow looks clean, I'm going to take a small pointed brush and apply red ochre just on top of where I applied the liquid eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take Tempera, the shade that I used for the base of the look, and apply that on my brow bone. So that's it for the eyeshadow on top. So now I'm just going to take a black liquid liner and make a long semi-thick wing. To make the liquid liner look matte black, I took a regular black eyeshadow and applied it over the liquid liner. So after that, I just took the tape off and I applied red ochre from my outer bottom corner to the center. Next, I'm just going to apply some mascara on my top and bottom lashes. After that, I'm going to use the fake lashes by Huda Beauty in the style Samantha. So now the eye look is complete and for lips, I'm just going to use my MAC liner in the shade Dervish and I'm going to apply this all over my lips. So since I did use a lip liner and liners usually tend to dry your lips, I'm just going to apply some chapstick. And of course, I'm going to use my favorite highlighter of all time and that is Opal by Becca. I'm going to apply it on my cheekbones as well as a little bit on the tip of my nose. 
That's it you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you guys have a great Valentine's Day even if you don't have someone to share it with. Make the most out of it and enjoy it because you don't need no man, okay? So that's it and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye!